made by Callan Cooper off the front row of the grid on pole position, cleanly into Redgate. He grabbed the advantage. Great start from the second row from right behind him. Joel Collier on the Haribo Starmix Triumph, the dark blue machine, rattles through into second place, gets the better of Luke Hedger and Jordan Simkin, who were on the front row of the grid. Jordan Simkin now then is comfortably where he wants to be. He's through into third place, so he's got Luke Hedger in his sights. Hedger is his nearest championship challenger, so he knows that he can limit the damage from there, James. There is James Lodge, former double British 125 GP champion. And as he uh, scorches across the line now, young Andy Irwin's right behind him. Uh, number seven, James Lodge, beginning to gather his wits here, James. He's just set his fastest lap of the race at a 135.5. Great ride by Callan Cooper, number 101, on the yellow CF Motorsport Yamaha. It is. Making the trip worthwhile, and he's he's actually relaxed so much. Luke Hedges clipped his lead a little bit, but Joe Collier has suddenly got to grips with the Harrymo Starmix Triumph, perhaps a little bit too late, and he's closed the gap on Jordan Simpkin. There is the blue and white Harrymo Starmix bike. He's running in fourth place. Wow, perhaps he hasn't left it too late. He Suddenly, he's gobbling up Simpkin's advantage. And Simpkin, uh, exactly as you said, James, you can't really take think okay i'll just settle for third because suddenly you find this happening and could shed a couple of more points yeah that's it so the championship leader getting pushed hard now look at that great view of them going through coppice corner onto the dunlop straight and he has oh and he does oh, and he, can he it. stop it joe collier dives underneath john Just. simkin the uh, Triumph whips third place off the Yamaha. Can the Yamaha do anything about it? He'll try it in Goddard, surely. He's done this before. He goes for the early apex. Collier's left the door open. They lead oh. and the win. Callan Cooper wins again. Second place, Luke Edger. Look at these two. Absolutely knocking one another senseless in the run for the line. And Joe Collier steals it from Jordan Simkin. That was determined oh, riding. And they... The Superstock 600 dramatic, and here we have another dramatic conclusion, and I've got a feeling that the, the Mark Wilkinson nicked that fifth, the sixth place back there from Mason Law. The weekend's gone really well, coming out with a win and uh, pole position, and um, just been quite dominant on times and stuff, so it's all gone perfect. The team's great, and hopefully I can move up and progress to third in the championship. I'm four points off that now, and hopefully by the end I can keep winning races and end up there. Ex racing myself, so you know, I've stopped riding in superbikes last year and decided to uh, go ahead and run my own team and took a young rider on Jake Dixon in Supersport and Callan Cooper in Superstock. Callan's been riding really well, pretty much faultless since he uh, started riding for us. Jake Dixon in Supersport. Again, he's been doing fantastic consistently in the top 10. Unfortunately, due to injury, he's having to sit out a few rounds now. Donington Park this weekend hasn't gone how I wanted it to, really. Um, finished fourth, but still points on the table. Um, hopefully, we can win the championship towards the end of the year, but we'll see how Silverstone and Browns go. My rider, Jordan Simkin, is currently leading the Stock 600 Championship. We've had a, a, a reasonable result this weekend with a, a fourth place and a, a slim lead to the championship with two rounds to go. Um, Jordan's been doing incredibly well this year, uh, very mature head and, and one eye on the championship, but uh, still a long way to go. Started off quite re well, really well, uh, wet practice and a wet qualifying one, which was brilliant. I, I didn't believe I had the pace. Um, and I, I went out when I was uh, 19th quickest, uh, when I'm normally a, bit, a lot below that, and uh, which was really, really good for us. I was really happy with the performance. Um, and obviously in qualifying two on Saturday, it dried out. And uh, we, we had a few problems with the, with the fueling and the mapping of the bike. So uh, we, we had to change that and uh, for, in time for the practice on uh, Saturday night. Um, so that wasn't too good, but then uh, we come to the race today and uh, something wrong with the, uh, the quick shifter. So that put us out and I did eight laps and I had to come in because it was impossible to ride. So um, we had to start again um, and hopefully in, in time for next, the next meeting at Silverstone. Our aim as a team is to bring on young riders um, between the ages of 16 and 24. Um, we aim for them to come into our team with, from club level with relatively little experience and we'll train them up with our team of experienced mechanics and myself and Derek uh, to hopefully when they leave us and they move on to a, a bigger and better things with another team as a more rounded rider um, capable of winning British Championship and hopefully we'll have been involved in somebody that can go on to world or, or maybe MotoGP level. This weekend we finished third, which uh, we're fairly happy with. And uh, but unfortunately we can't win the championship anymore for the rest of the season. So we're, we're just going out there to try and get as many podiums as possible and uh, just have a have a good time for the rest of the season, really.
doing all right this year. I think I've had five podiums, four third place finishes, and a second place finish at Cadwell last weekend. Um, this weekend, a bit of a bad result. Finished eighth after qualifying 13th on the grid. I was just just struggling with uh, struggling with a bike a bit around this circuit. So, yeah, hopefully we can have a better weekend next next time out at Silverstone. Our team consists of three stock 600 riders and a stock 1000 rider. Stock 600 is basically a very much a standard bike. Um, you're allowed to do minimal modifications to the bike for specification to the class. Um, it's a really, really good class. We see ourselves in the paddock as a, a foundation a foundation team where we bring riders on, we bring them into the team as young riders, they develop their skills in the stock six. It's a very, very aggressive class, very difficult to get results in. Anybody in the top 10 can win a race on the day, very close times. So it is difficult and it's good for the kids to learn.